Hello there. This is Malak, and welcome to episode 33 of my World of Myth playthrough. I've had a couple of really long episodes recently. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time, but you know how it goes. Um, so yeah, next turn in this. Let's see, can I actually shoot that? No. So the prepared shot is unfortunately no good, unless I start pulling things in. Uh, I think, I think, yeah, I think Tiff's just gonna, gonna do Tiff things. Yep, and she's hidden again. Yep. <laughs> tiff doing tiff things. It's great. And then a nice bouncy bouncy discus boink. Um Is that all I've got to kill now? Guess have a little look in this bottom hallway. Oh hello. Hello friend. Do you like fire? Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Nearly dead instantly. Um, I guess, yeah, what I'll do is I'll um, move you out here and set up a, a sweet ambush and we'll see if that actually does anything. Oh, Adcho, man, why is everything on fire again? I mean, to be honest, this is nothing compared to the little Thrixel barbecue we had before. The Thrixel furnace. Um, I guess we just interfuse with a bit of a fire and then just kind of move the fire away. <laughs> it seems a bit inefficient. But it's like, just, just move that over there. Rude. Yeah, didn't see that coming, did ya? Um, so, nom? Move to the other side. Flanking position. Frenzy. More things to kill. Maybe this bottom door. Let's get the fire closer. And Comey can move through now that there's no fire. Probably some bad things in this room. I'm assuming... Is that the same room? It is just a corridor, actually. Let's just get in there and have a little look. And... Silky step. Hi! Oh, well, that's a lot. Right. Okay, I guess interfusing with something in there would be great, but there isn't anything in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some things in there and then interfuse with them. <laughs> and then just start ripping things apart. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna vine wrench that Dweaver. It's over there. Its corpse lands over there. That little bush just appears from nowhere and then mutilates that little that little 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 buddy. Smash. That's disappointingly low damage. That's a, that's a big shame. Oh! Throwing the quelling moss. Go for it, Tiff. That Dweaver at the bottom is just going to die from poison on its turn. Oh, what a shame. I don't want to go into there, because you're going to get mind-wormed for some bizarre reason. Could compel that to just... I don't even know anymore. If I bounce a discus off that plant... There's a there's a chance that it'll bounce to the other Dweaver and not the one that's going to die anyway. So we'll, we'll do it. Boing. Yay! <laughs> it's bounced off. How do you bounce a brick off a shrub? It just doesn't seem to make much sense. But I'll take it. I'll, I'll, I'll accept this, this generous gift. And then Spazero just gets in there and wrecks. And this, then that one falls over from poison. There we go. Off by one is leveled up. Nikomi's nearly leveled up. Holy crap. 
block. I mean, oh no, what am I doing? Here you go, Viper. You can have a, you can have a cool thing. It's off by one. Hmm. I mean, indignant seems pretty good. Creeping silence. Mystic light. The shadows are crammed with decayed bits of malting. Age thick air only freshens as a questing draft slips bravely behind them. Wanna run through the rooms again? But I got a good feeling that we didn't let any escape. At least the big one's not moving. So, this seems to prove the myth. Right. Those look like the eyes of a beast locked away for a thousand years. His fall resounds like the feeling of a mighty redwood in my head forest. It echoes. I could feel that like wind on my wings. But this is the tower's rife with cure and magic, probably. So I mean, could that maybe block the noise or something? Whether those walls might muffle such a booming spirit, it is too soon to know. Regardless, the time nears that each bird must find her perch in the storm. All right, fine. And we'll look for nesting branches and all the good chicky things you want to say. But we still need to resolve some of the details. Nakomi walks past them into the Grand Hall. It's good we managed to claim this place, found it and opened it. All but showed it could do what it we want it to do. Kill the whatever that was. Beast. But see, isn't the hardest part still to come? Getting Ectis here? Convincing her to come inside the tower and well, not dying when she inevitably tries to make us die, and, and then Nikomi, be calm. Outside the mist rubs its pink fur against the cold blue rocks. No sudden threat sparks up. While the gravity of these problems may just now be weighing on you, I have concentrated almost ever, almost expressly on constructing solutions. I trusted you all to find this tower, and you did not let me down. Now, allow me to ease your burden. Ecthys has hunted me relentlessly for years, has she not? Together, off by one and I have deflected her gaze, but with some substantial effort. Now what is left is merely to let our efforts droop. Leave my winsome face uncowled. Who would you count on to resist me? Resist punching you, maybe. Ah, how pleasant it is to hear an angsty duck relish his crumbs. Like this will come for me. You may have to draw her into the tower, but once inside I shall exert the sum of my meagre powers upon her. She will counter. I should be able to hold her long enough that you can close this door, and when the bar is snugly nested, there will be nothing more she can do to you or anyone else. Well, but what about... We come through this floor. The upstairs, the basement, it's clean, it's sealed. I think that the fact that the Mothman seems intent on staying in the tower until it's sealed is a suggestion that perhaps he's not expecting to come out of this alive. And I think that off by one, yeah, kind of knew that and was about to say something until Tiff rudely interrupted. These walls, these confines, <clears throat> there will be a prison. How long will her life here last? Her life here will be the same as her death. And by that I mean, I simply mean... It will go on and on, filling every room, possibly without end. And yet, that will be the happiest end, for all she loved when love once ruled her. Do you think we'll have to try talking to her? I agree, you must try it. Yes, we'll make an attempt at peace. Even so, you are our friend, and we do trust you. Of course, of course. Why else would you say so? <laughs> In 
interesting. Okay, more armor for the dergs. Okay. Open to prepare for Ectis. I kind of feel like, um, it'd be nice to be able to, um, I like the fact that this patrol is still just kind of there. I think it was halfway through patrolling when the source of the infestation got destroyed and it just kind of locked that, that mission in now. Um, what I would like is, is potentially somewhere to do some crafting. I kind of feel like we need to prepare. So crafting sounds like a good idea to me. Um, I'm just going to double check something. So yes, it's only five. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, crafting. Obviously, Adshow's going to be going in there, but Adshow's got no upgrades that can squeeze on. Um, off by once, you are going to... I mean, again, you are max upgrade. The only thing I can say is that maybe swapping to something else like... I mean, at the moment, you've got a spear, which is all very well, but... Probably a good idea just to get a wand going. Because honestly, that will that will actually boost you quite a bit. Yes. Are there any other places that can craft? Basically, anywhere where there's a recruitment opportunity. Um, Nakomi. Weirdly enough, the staff that you like so much... It's probably not the best thing for you to be wielding, honestly. Okay. But either way, there it is. Tiff, is there anything better than Traff for you? This would then reduce your speed, reduce your dodge, but give you more protection. Bark? No, that's Bark. Hasping? Reduce dodge, reduce warding, but better armor and speed. She doesn't need the speed. Swaith. Swashbuckler. I'm killing an enemy, extra stunt chance until the stunt occurs. Okay, that, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Honestly, I think what she's got is probably fine. And you've got everything you need. So really, it's just that. We're just going to wait. Wait for a better, a better thing. Let's cancel the Thrixel, shall we? Uh, you know what, no, it's fine. Whatever. Yeah, Spazio Hero can just just heal because you're gonna need it. So actually, waiting to heal is is uh, perfectly acceptable. Yeah, because you did get quite badly beaten up, didn't you? Come on, before we get another... Okay, there we go. Oh, it's the final showdown. Do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. This is the dream team. Yeah, you guys are good together. And hopefully, now I get off by one's thing, we'll, uh... Let them know. And over the fields, as these contests played out, pennants would sap and ripple blue, gold, silver, and green. It is still my favorite dream, and some of the only memories I have of my parents. How joyful their faces look to see their joyful boy. It's a nice mem. Hang on. Hey, folks. Off by one and me, we got the approach and everything. Defenses, possible angles. Finished mostly with our equipment. 
and the dawn shall pounce upon us. It's an unsubtle glare to burn fallen blood like ink into these random rocks. In such script shall our history be spelled. Impossible to delay. No, dear birds, that she has not already wrought her absolute will. Perhaps we can claim the credit. Better we do not risk losing her attention. Better we finish now what we know we must. But I hope you will excuse me a moment. These wings like to feel the clear old moonlight. Breathe the mountain night. Yeah, one last time, perhaps. It might be his intent. Holy shit. That's a lot. Oh! <coughs> Lol. Um. Cool. <laughs> we, we had, we have one last, one last thing. Uh, but it's specifically only these guys. I mean, I think I'll just then upgrade the staff, I guess? Excuse me. What kind of staff is that, anyway? It's just a boring staff with just higher stunt damage. Kind of feel like the water staff's always a fun one. I like the water staffs, what can I say? What can I say? But this one... The long watch lamp is definitely a very cool one. Um, you know, the spell damage 4, warding 1. I don't know why I've not been using it. I've, I've really had Nokomian off by 1 using the wrong things, haven't I? Um, but I am going to upgrade this staff anyway. Because, why the hell not? Um, and I guess I don't really have much else that can really be... I don't have much else that can really be done. Fire wand would be fun, but it really makes no difference. <laughs> Two of us don't even have weapons. Because we can't have weapons. It's kind of funny, really. So you got traff. Question is, what what would potentially be useful? A reduction in speed and a reduction in dodge, but better defenses. Armor and speed, blah blah blah. I mean, swashbuckle is actually not a bad option. I know it's a reduction in dodge, but it's actually kind of a cool option. Okay, let's do this. Oh boy. By the pre-dawn hour, the Mothman had holed himself inside the tower. Thread by thread, he dismantles the wards that have let him escape notice across flights, fights, and campsites. Exodus will catch any small glimmer of his presence, he thinks too obvious and they might alert her to something amiss. They're basic, they're basic, yeah, you're basically Thrix, all right? You can feel it and stuff, they're, they're close. There he is. Already? I don't see a single. A patient taking stock. We look half prepared for a fight, which the Mothman said is good enough ruse. Um, is that a ruse? I'd show. The battle's only meant to draw her in. Winning really just means surviving for now. Well, I'm aware that we're just... I just... Yeah. Yeah, anyway. It's fine. I'll do my part. We'll make it through. One more day. Her heralds will come before her. But if these companions can protect the Mothman low enough, the Queen herself may be called to the field. Okay, so we just need to um, survive, and also the Mothman must survive. A lot of gross mutant people as well. A lot of Dweaver. Dweavers are teleporty, I don't like them. Scurry is a diggy teleporty, which I also do not like. Why are these thrusks all boosted, but that like one thrusk is not? Like that thrust and these ones are just kind of hard coded and these ones are buffed from the random list. 
Question is, where is the masked man? There he is. No, in all his glory. I don't get to control him, but... Hmm. Okay. Well, it's a shame that uh, Spicero didn't position themselves, like, you know, better for, for, for flamey things. Well, let's position yourself for flamey things. Hatcho can then go in there and start burning stuff. There we go. Store. Cone of fire. Burn. Tiff can go and assassinate that Thrusk. the scouting that I wanted. Um, you've now got a wand out. You've now got your wand out. Okay. Okay. Splinter Salvo would be really, really cool. Between those two, assuming that it works quite that far. Disappointing. Let's, um, let's pew pew the pew pew. So I'm assuming that there's nothing inside. Off by one. Let's move you forward a bit. Probably shouldn't have done that. Would have got more value for money if I hadn't. And then let's bounce some bricks. Okay, those beavers didn't, didn't survive our round one, which is good. I don't like how we're all in that area effect. I can't remember what the area effect does. Lots of thrusts for Adcho to burn. And possibly a scurrier for him to smack. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was that was good. A good good I was I was expecting you wait until your turn, Adcho, before you actually started doing stuff, but no, that, that works for me. Oh boy. So we just need to kill them as they come without faffing around too much. Yeah, I don't know what's the um, units that come near or who, who are near unresting one at the start of its turn have a chance to be stunned. Warding decreases that chance. Well, yeah, I'm going to move Tiff back. But I thought she started in it and therefore no, it doesn't matter. And then she's going to bite it. There we go. Now let's see what's left after Ad Show has done Ad Show things. As effective as I thought that would be. Okay, Nakomi can discuss and discuss death. Probably should have interfused with some. Actually, no, 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 because she's fully interfused. Scurrier can. Wait, well, it's gonna. Scurry is gonna scurry. 
That one's going to interfuse with this barricade. And then splinter blast and skull here. And then... Oh, there we go. Well, well shot, well shot. And that's it, you're going to auto stunt next turn. This it's triggering on a lot of us. Okay, we need to free ad show. That's fine, we can free ad show easy enough. I'm gonna bite that first. And then remove the stasis. That hero is just going to shoot this guy. There we go. And I'm going to stunt again. And I've... Oh my god, and I got another turn? So that's... That's cool. Let's ambush. Because then I can just delay this extra action till next turn. Um, that shows you're just going to... No, you're going you're gonna to punch it. Can I engage? No, I can't engage that one. But if I move out a bit, I then can engage that one. And then punch this one. Off by one, you can interfuse with, I don't know, this fire, I guess. And then fire leash. Why would why would fire leashing through Adsho damage the warding? That doesn't make any sense. Is that because it's magical fire or something? Nobody knows. It's so moving the fire further forward in case we uh, get a bit of visibility or or whatever. Nakomi, Nakomi, Nakomi. Um, rock shield on Adsho, I suppose. Keep it going. Maybe rock shield on on Tiff as well. That was a good shot. <laughs> yeah, Spaz Hero, that, that swashbuckler armor is really good. Because the sheer amount of damage that he causes means that he's going to get a kill. And the bow then gives him another turn to get another kill. Um, and you can't get a, another, another turn. Another action, you know, you can only do one per turn. But yeah, that, this is good. This is, battle's going well. The conclusion of which we will have to leave until next episode. This is almost a sensible length episode. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, we'll see the conclusion of this next episode. Next episode might be quite a short one, depending on how this works. We will, we will see. We will see. Um, until next time, guys, I bid you farewell. And of course, cheerio. Aren't cliffhangers good?